effed up things kids did. According to Reddit. Number 30. My friend and I hid underneath the desk during a fire drill in the second grade. We both got an F in conduct that day. My mother was pissed. What I mean, it's not that bad, you know? Come on, how is that effed up? See, I shouldn't have started this low on the list. It's just I got tricked by how high the upvotes were. I don't know what to say. <sighs> Let me go down one. It says, when I was eight years old, I stole my father's nickel collection and spent it on penny candy. Talk about 23 skidoo. That's a pretty good comment. A hello to Ariel and a hello to Ariana. Those are pretty similar names, girls. What are you trying to do here? Are you, are you both just the same guy that couldn't think of female sounding names that, that had anything but A's and R's in the beginning of it? Like a pirate. As we continue up, we are at number 29. I would hold my foreskin closed and then pee to fill it up and then let go a piss explosion all over the bathroom. You know, this one from zero to a thousand in an instant. So, Merry Christmas to all of you. I know that's what you were looking for in an entry. You would hold your foreskin closed. Fa la 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 la. La 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 la. Man, that PS4 feedback is loud, boy. I don't even know what to do about it. Hope it's not that bad. You know, I don't know if, uh,. If I should have Magneto getting all up in the way of the stream this hard. Let me see if I can move that over just a little bit. That should be fine. Sierra Miss says, hello everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. To you, Eva. Boy, here's hoping we don't get any more like number 29. Number 28. Mine is really not as bad as everyone else's. We grew up not having very much money. One day, my dad had the day off, and he wanted to treat me to a restaurant by his work. Um, I was an a-hole, and I complained the entire time and thought that the place was too cheap. He was excited to take me, and in retrospect, I feel awful. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Well, it's better to eventually be able to possess the capacity to look inward and find fault with the way that you are. As opposed to just living your life incapable of ever seeing that you ever did anything wrong. That's what's up for a lot of people. You know, it's interesting and necessary that we find the way to view things from a different perspective. Okay. I gotta stop picking up this controller because, you know, that's what happens. I pick up the controller. I start to talk. Let's continue. 27. I pooed on the floor and then smudged it onto my little sister's doll. You know, that's a, that's what we call a double whammy. Come on. I don't want more entries like this. And maybe this is a lesson for me to not start past 25 on a list. How about that? How about that? Jesus hell. Number 26. I kind of relate to the Queen song. I had a nanny with an enormous ass and I snuggled up to it regularly and she apparently saw nothing wrong with it. Who knows? Maybe it was her idea. I was too young to really pay attention. Anyway, I like butts as an adult. Go figure. It's got to be a special butt to, to what's the word? Uh, what's the word? To garner my my enthusiasm, my appreciation. It can't just be like, oh, there it is. It's a butt. There it is. You know, it, there needs to be something exemplary going on to be worthy of celebration. Because as you might have guessed, I am an upper, upper area guy. An upper area guy. I really want to write that somewhere. Upper area guy. Nice. Let me write. Let me write this now. 
chubby um girl um titties and then all right um wait meatball risk that's from yesterday i like that one too as we continue up this list number 25 where we probably should have started and i'm okay with that my parents used to peel m apples because kids can have trouble swallowing and chewing the skin you're not supposed to chew the skin girl but you're not supposed to hold on to it either second give me a second oh my god I'm actually out of ammo I killed him with a harpoon that was beautiful that was beautiful. I'm very sorry I was being attacked in the game that I'm kind of just sitting AFK in. And some guy came and started building around me. So I pull out the gun and both of us kind of start charging at this douche that's, you know, attacking us. But of course, because it's Fortnite, this loser just starts building. And I'm charging at the guy and I'm about to finish him off. But I run out of ammo. And all I have on me is this harpoon thing that's used for fishing. So now I have to try to, like, impale the guy with the harpoon. And inevitably I did. It was more interesting if you had seen it, but I don't know. You're probably not a Fortnite dude. Mermaid Queen says, I changed my name just for you, Kyle. Everybody wants to be a queen. I thought y'all wanted to be Kangs. What was your name before, Mermaid Queen? Because I can't know when you just say that you changed your name. Number 25, my parents used to peel apples because kids would have trouble swallowing and chewing the skin. I was upset that it was allowed, or I was upset that I wasn't allowed it, and when they weren't looking, I took the skin out of the garbage and ate it. Man, this is why reverse psychology is so is so wonderful when it comes to uh when it comes to kids. You know? It's so simple. So simple. Number twenty-four. When I was in first grade, a girl would not let me into her club. So the next morning, our teacher took away her sunglasses because she was wearing them during class. During recess, I snuck into the classroom, placed the sunglasses in the girl's desk, and then I told the teacher when we got back that I saw her take the sunglasses back during recess. My teacher believed me. The girl denied it. The teacher pushed down her desk, and the glasses were there. She got in trouble for not only stealing, but lying about it. No one else found out it was me all along. And that is the one story of why I'm going to hell, exclamation point. You'll be all right. That's what she get for not letting you in the club. <laughs> it would be one thing if you went further and was like, hey, you should let me in your club. It'd be a shame if another sunglasses incident were to occur. Oh, damn. Unbelievable, really. Un believable hmm. <laughs> the sunglasses incident number 23 my friend and I ripped and stole the pages out of our neighbor's we ripped and stole the pages out of our neighbor's Cosmo magazine that had pictures of boobs nice I think it might have been for breast self exams what you guys were girls we were 10 year old girls at the time and got totally busted by my parents. That same friend and I got into a different neighbor's trash bags after Thanksgiving and decided to sample some of their leftovers. What the fuck? Kids are so strange. Yeah, I guess kids are gross as hell, man. You're going through other people's garbage and taste and stuff. I used to joke that, you know, children like really young, you know, infants, essentially, um, you know, up through toddlers test the the consistency of the world with their tongues you know they give that a taste give this a taste oh is that what that tastes like mm. but when you're a little bit older it's like god damn <laughs> what the hell's really going on oh man 
Happy holidays. Happy, happy Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. You guys enjoying your day? You should be taking a damn nap. A day-long nap, boy. Number 22. When I was around seven, I... I pooped in a cup and gave it to my brother to eat it and told him it was chocolate popcorn. Long story short, he did not eat it. What a sociopath. But you were seven years old, so I guess that's acceptable, right? I guess it's supposed to be fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Oh, well, he's just at that age. Or he's insane. <laughs> Boy's just at that age where he's insane, you know? Who, who can say that they haven't done that? Kyle pooped in a cup and gave it to a sibling and told him it was chocolate popcorn. Please eat it. I want to see you eat that poop. Like it's normal. Don't normalize it, okay? But the comedy is YouTube's becoming a place where if you were to make fun of somebody for that, they would get in, they, you would get in trouble. They wouldn't be the one called out for that. You would get in trouble. Why you gotta do that? Why are you poop shaming him, Kyle? Stop poop shaming hashtag okay number 21 i tried to poison my mom's boyfriend well who who can say they haven't i'm kidding i was probably around 11 years old i had one of these science kits from the scholastic book fair scholastic media i took the critic acid that's not what that says you dyslexic i took the crit you, you did it again I took the citric acid and dumped the whole container into his drink. He sipped it and just said, This tastes like shit. And dumped it out. <laughs> Got him. <sighs> Joel, I can like hear the background noise of these idiots in this fucking game killing me. I just need y'all to do my challenges. So that I can be closer to level 300. This is Sparta. Number 20. I don't know if I, it would be considered uh, effed up, but my brother and I made homemade darts from push pins. We would throw them at one another and they would stick into our skin and wiggle and we would laugh our asses out. Well, thank God none of you got hit in the face, huh? And to do any kind of lasting damage. Someone says, holy crap, I remember doing something similar. I remember I'd get those thumbtacks, put each in the middle part of your fingers, and then go around five-starring all of my friends. Uh-huh. Only thing I was trying to five-star were titties, if they were wonderful enough. Oh, wow, I just remembered something. I just remembered that one of the first times I ever spoke to a woman, I walked up to her and squeezed both of her breasts. That is not cool. <laughs> I can't imagine what came over me at that age. But I guess that's probably the most Kyle thing that I've ever done. I really wonder what she's gotten up to now. Because she was so sweet and pretty. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That may have been the beginning of the Kyle story. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> you may be wondering where it goes from here. A firm slap. Okay. A firm slap. I can't say I liked anybody more than her at the time, though. So, that doesn't excuse it. But we became... We became decent friends. What the fuck? I am... Why do you have the controller in your hand again, Kai? I keep telling you not to do this. Just put the controller down. And finish a damn list. Fine. But not because you say so. Okay, I'm putting it down in three, two, one. Dave's not here says Merry Christmas, everyone. Too soon to check on Lucas Werner's channel. I have kind of taken a break from him because I want to make a video about him, but I don't know where to begin. He's just such a creep. He's such a creep. It's difficult to know where to begin. Um. I kind of want to front load it with with some of the creepiest things he's done so that it doesn't come off like a bullying video or a harassment type thing. It's it's I want it to be completely things that he's done, that he said, that he's made clear. You know how when I made that video about 
uh, Jared Genesis, I pretty much put it right in the beginning that this dude thinks that an eight year old can consent. And I put it so that he physically says that he verbally says that it's not like me spinning it or, you know, bringing you to conclusion that he, uh, you know, he believes something crazy like that. I just put it right in the beginning. Merry Christmas. Super Chris. What's so super about that, Chris? OK, Kirby Chris is more like it. You know what I'm talking about? Curb your Chris like your enthusiasm. <clears throat> Number 19. I need to stop. I used to have a couple of bullies in the first grade. One day they decided that it would be a good idea to strap me to a bench and strip me. Typical bullies, <laughs> just gay as hell. <laughs> so you know what I did? I pooped my pants right then and there. Poop my pants right then and there. Pooped it, pooped, poop, 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 pooped it. They never bothered me again. He's the scat man, that's enough all right <laughs> i always say that to women um i know you're gonna like again some of these dudes could have weapons if they ever tried to attack you but hey girl you know pee yourself poop yourself do whatever you gotta do if some dude is coming at you and hope that that's not what they're into number 17 I had a notebook that I proceeded to fill with drawings. Each page was a scene like a comic book. It told the pictorial story of a woman getting pregnant and giving birth with graphic detail. Well, I mean, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Okay. What is wrong with that? Creeper Mama says, Merry Christmas, Kyle. Merry Christmas to you. Love you too. Sweet of you. A lot of queens and mamas in the stream. Might have believed that you guys are all dragging out now. Dragon Ballsy. We got all the drag queens in the stream now. Okay. I didn't know that so many of you. Damn, FC. Rap gift Christmas tree beaming face with smiling eyes. I bet you didn't think she was going to read all of those emojis like that. Wrapped gift Christmas tree smiling face with closed eyes or whatever she said. That was amazing. Thank you, FC Nader, for that contribution. And thank that robot for making such a ridiculous uh, <laughs> three emoji. Uh, something she needed to narrate the names of. Amazing. Amazing. But yes, no, I respect all of you coming out of your shells, becoming the new fabulous women you want to be. And you know what? When we all get into a more secure financial position, I will fund whatever rest in plants or, or I don't know, um, reality TV show that you want to be on because you probably watch other people on TV and go, they, they suck, man. And it's true. They do suck. So... You come up with something more gimmicky, you could be on television too. Be getting all of those, I don't know, housewives or whoever's watching reality TV. Beaming face with smiling eyes. Is that what it said? Wow. Hmm. Plague, you said it, man. A lot of these lists really seem to have a common thread and it's getting kind of ridiculous. Look at this. Number 15. One time I peed in my cousin's ear from the top bunk. What the hell? Degenerates. The sniper? That's not a name. Come on. Number 16. When I was in second grade, I saw I said that my teacher was stabbing kids with pencils. The others were brought in one at a time and questioned. This did not happen. And I remember the teacher fondly and have no idea why I did it you're just a little crazy person <laughs> like all kids i couldn't work with kids man i would i would sooner run from a child than be in the midst of him you know ever if somebody put me in a room with a kid i'd turn on my phone and put my hands above my head and that'd be that you know what i'm talking about and you should do the same you should do exactly the same it's not a joke helsing says i got wireless earbuds for christmas and kyle sounds so good when I'm glad I can sound good for you, baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You enjoying those headphones? I'll try not to make them awful. It'd sound even better if you weren't hearing so much of my, uh, 
you know, the background hum of this PS4. I just reduced the volume a little bit. Hopefully it's not coming through so loudly. Whatever. Number 14. I made my brother and his friend a jug of Kool-Aid with water from the toilet. You know what the crazy thing about some of these kids are? You know what? This list. Yeah, I just like retched a little bit. This list can double as like something you would do to an enemy. What you mean you pissed in his ear? What you mean you made a, a bottle of Kool-Aid from toilet water? You know? And yes, yes, toilet water can be sterile. But, but if when you're flushing your stuff and it's coating uh, the porcelain is the most eloquent way I can say, art articulate this without just grossing it up. What I might as well just say it the gross way because I'm already demonetized thanks to all these hilarious entries. So if your poop's staining in the frickin' toilet holes, right? The toilet water is gonna be a nice blend. <laughs> a nice ooky blend of your batter, man. Mm. Why? Why? Someone says, I once brushed my... What the hell? Yo! I feel like this is, this is Reddit 10 years ago. What are you doing? I once brushed my butthole with my brother's toothbrush when he pissed me off? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Number 13. Looked at naked girls my own age because I thought that was what you were supposed to do. Well, what's, I mean, you were that age, so what the hell were you supposed to do? You know? Ain't the end of the world. Number 12. My older brother pissed me off, so I pissed in a super soaker. It's just a lot of, it's, it's, it's just, it's nothing but bodily fluids with you people, isn't it? Number 11, my stepmom was abusive to me, so when she'd fall asleep, I'd say mean things to her, hoping that she'd hear it in her dreams. It's more stupid than effed up. Well, maybe it worked. Who knows? Merry Christmas to you, galactic platypurs. Galactic platypurs. Mmm. Number 10, I threw two big bags of hamster bedding through my fan and acted like a news forecaster and acted like it was snowing and my, my parents woke up and came to find my room covered in over an inch of hamster bedding. Needless to say, I didn't own the hamster anymore. Well, someone said this one made me laugh hardcore. Huh. Well, <laughs> that poor hamster. Thank God he was gotten out of this lunatic's hands before anything terrible could have happened to him. <laughs> We're going for a ride, Squeakers. <laughs> Just kidding. He says the hamster's name was Gary and that he was relocated to another home. Number nine. My friend and I were out riding our bikes and saw a dead squirrel in the road. Kid Logic said, picking that carcass up with some sticks and carrying it to a random front doorstep and doing a ding dong ditch was a pretty good idea. In Kid Logic, it was probably the only course of action. About a week later, we notice a for sale sign in that house. To this day, I'm suspicious that this poor family thought that they were being targeted by some sociopath and noped the fuck out of the neighborhood. Well, damn. You little bastards made people move by moving roadkill to their front door. What if they were black? What if they were black? And you made them think that they were being targeted. And this was a racial thing. You little racists. It's a hate crime. Hello to everybody. You having a good day? I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you again, FC Nader. You are the hero. Tahiro. Number eight. 
I helped a Jewish kid steal a Christmas tree. He complained to his family, never had a Christmas tree. <laughs> well, who do you blame? The Jewish kid or his parents, you know? You can't be you depriving these kids of Christmas for your freaking, you know, Hanukkah. But let's face it, the Jews are typically wealthy. Okay, you can't say that. You can't say that, Kyle. Never mind. Never mind. Well, I just, I just want to say what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, normally for certain people, you know, of the Jewish persuasion, it's kind of like Christmas every day, you know. But no, you can't say that, you know. He just wanted a Christmas tree. He wanted the delights. It's no different than if a normal kid, you can't say that. Normal kid implies that the Jewish kid is not normal. It would be like if a non-Jewish child that would typically celebrate Christmas would be upset or saddened by the fact that he doesn't get to light a menorah. You know, he want menorah too. Or Roman candles if you're talking the stripes because she thought menorahs were Roman candles. Impressive to say the least. Hello there. Can't believe that Fortnite only had the new stupid ass uh, Star Wars characters and not the good ones because Disney wasn't willing to license them. So now I'm supposed to wait till May when Fortnite will probably not be a thing anymore. Come on, man. This was the time, you know. Wait, isn't Animal Crossing coming out in March? I should probably pre-order that, but it's like, man, I do what I want. <laughs> Number seven, my cousin and I were like seven or so and playing upstairs in a room by ourselves. My aunt left her sewing machine in there and it was just ready to go. We were fascinated by how fast the needle moved up and down when we stepped on the foot pedal. Then we had the idea to see who could get their finger out of the way before the needle started moving. He went, safe. I went, safe. He went, Blood shot out and his screaming commenced. You little bastards were playing sewing machine roulette. Somebody said you could have just stitched up the wound. Okay. Oh my god. Number six is deleted, but I happen to know it was about a kid like burning down, nor nearly burning down a house or something like that. Um, pretty weird. I couldn't properly retrieve it though. They were really trying to, really trying to just scrape clean the whole mention of this incident. So the comedy of it though is that you have to assume. Um, is that you have to assume that the reason it was deleted was because um, maybe the story might have implicated him. <laughs> he didn't want to leave it out there. So look, he says he nailed a goldfish through the eyes to a wall, 12 inch in total. I was very particular with how I did it. Dad told me to remove it in a specific order. The pond garden was removed very quickly. For creative writing, did a story about... I don't want to deprive you of this, but this is written very, very scarily. I'm just going to read it. For creative writing, did her story about killing the teacher. Was banned from Stanley Kubrick movies and anything involving Colonel Braddock until I was 18 due to how well I described the parts about maintaining the weapon. Full Metal Jacket and missing in action films were deemed negative influences. It is very concerning how he knows how to put together the weapon in such detail and write about accommodating for range so accurately. Sergeant Major Friend of the family. I was 10 years old.
I'm now 38 and the former teacher jokes about how much therapy I would be in now. Convince my brother to make a spear and play catch with my friend. Brother got a spear in the lower leg. Oh, almost took mom's head off with spray cans exploding after hiding them in the incinerator. I knew she would be using fully intentional. Convinced a neighborhood kid that he could jump off a double story roof and land on a motorbike. Major shit fight and first time I'd see my father in a fist fight. It was pretty cool. Not sure if said kid was ever able to have kids. What the hell? This is a really funny way to write all of this. Like you're you're like a really disturbed little bastard. I forget the reason my intra my interstate relatives and I are never welcome again, but mom terms it as effed up and she doesn't swear. They only visit if they are aware I am quite a distance away 29 years later. Reenacted. What is this guy is unreal? Is this real? Let me just skip through some of this. This is unbelievable. Like, literally, it's almost like I, I almost just straight up don't believe it. I taught a bloke to not speed through town by waiting. Mary Crimbas again. My true identity will never be revealed. Whenever people say my true identity will never be revealed, I just like tack a name onto them. I'll assume it's a chick named Alyssa. Or maybe it's Aime. Or maybe... Some other girl whose name starts with an A. Ariel? Ariana? Yeah. How about that, Greg? You like being you like being attributed to that of a lady? Who's that lady? Small breasted lady. Modest titted lady. That's what they want to be, man. They don't want to be the type of chick that grabs your eyeball. They want to get in, they want to get out. They want to be a gymnast if they want to be. Not because they really want to be a gymnast, but they just want to have that, that option. You know what I mean? They don't want to have a bust that tells them, no, you can't do this because it's just all over the place. You know? In your face with a can of mace. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh my God. What if Greg is Jorge? I mean, Jorge is Greg. Hmm. Jesus Christ, Jorge. Oh my God. Jorge, I see that. I see that PayPal donation. And you're not even looking for the credit, Jorge. But you're, you're a God among men. Thank you. My, my chosen, my chosen warrior. <laughs> I'm going to get so cringe. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Jorge. You're amazing. I just, I can't thank you enough. I'll share something with you, you know, since you're out here contributing. Uh, recently, when I went to my mom's house, um, she was being her typical self. And, you know, she ran from the room to call a uh, family member and then, you know, get them on face cam and rush out to throw me on the camera and all kind of bullshit like that um and i'm sure you guys may know how enthusiastic i am about being on camera especially without you know being asked or being prepared to to be so you know if you if you guys know that you were going to be on a uh a camera call with anybody other than probably someone you're dating with or a best friend you would probably go to the trouble of making yourself presentable but uh you know, whatever. Let's not get female about it. That's not what twisted me out of shape. What sucks is that, of course, Dia was with me. And this lady just was like, oh, and this is Kyle's girlfriend. This is Kyle's girlfriend. Like all up in Dia's face. And I'm like, OK, my dude, you know, it would be nice if you were considerate enough to ask if she was willing to be on camera with this person she'd never met. You know what I mean? That you definitely whatever. So, of course. 
um i expect mom to carry herself she's an old you know i don't want to go there but i don't expect mom to learn new tricks is the best way that i can phrase that so i expect that kind of behavior from her as it pertains to me but not with dia dude not with dia who oftentimes barely even wants to be in some of these situations but you know i almost like need her there as a witness half the time i'm sure it's even gonna get worse long story short um what 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 do elderly parents who are used to being alone do but play the victim when they are at fault so i guess she doesn't want to be reached right now and i guess that's necessary for christmas so you know if that's what she wants to do she's entitled to that and i don't know she uh what happened recently Oh, here's what happened. For some reason on Amazon, one of my cards, which is an American Express card, was just turned into a visa as far as American Express is concerned. So naturally, when the charges bounced off of that, because it is not a visa card, it's an American Express card, it went to another payment method. You know, it was like, I can't charge this, so I'm gonna charge this other card. Um, when I was aware of it, I was so panicky because I know that that is a card that is one of mom's. I call the lady up. I let her know this is what's up. I'll pay you back. I send her text messages. Um, guess why? So I can have documentation when inevitably it's like, I don't remember you bringing that up. And then, of course, um, you know, even though I, I'm telling the lady I'm going to pay her back, whatever, dude, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's just it's it's lame because if it were something that I possess the capacity to stress about, it might even go as far as to F me over. But thank God I've got Dia here. So nothing can phase me. And now thank God I have you guys to fall back on as it pertains to, you know, the lack of stress that would be otherwise trying to envelop me. You know. I'm just thankful, even though we passed that uh, that holiday, when it comes to certain people's behavior and what they're willing to, you know, get upset about, you know, see me, I will fucking a thousand times out of uh, uh, out of 10. I'll just remove myself from a situation. I'm not going to let people provoke me to the point where I'm going to have an outburst uh, specifically because you guys know my story and that I've done time like jail time for shit that I didn't even do. So what you want to do these days, my dude, is make sure that you don't get in trouble for shit. Meaning, I would rather be the guy that that doesn't do anything than gets lied on for something that I most certainly didn't do. So just remove yourself. Don't have an outburst outside of your house or uh, in front of anybody that you wouldn't, I don't know, trust with your life or something because it may come back to you. And I will just remove myself from a scenario before it's something that I'm going to get bent out of shape about. But you guys and the Mermaid Queen lies slander. What is Mermaid Queen's name? I mean, we'll never know. Again, I just wanted to know what your name was before you changed it because you're saying I changed my name just for you. And I'm like, how, how am I? I don't even know who you were before. Unless the implication is that I was having trouble with the name. I remember somebody named like, uh, like it was like a Poseidon Trident, <laughs> a Poseidon Trident, Ariel. Oh my God, Ariel from the beginning of the stream. I didn't have a problem with your name so bad. I wanted you to change it. I was just like, you know, Ariel and Ariana are kind of similar. That's all I was saying. My God. I'm sorry if I was implying that your name was either basic or that I was going to have difficulty differentiating. I was just saying it was amusing to me and interesting that both of you had a a name that began with a. Mm -hmm. This dude says he taught a bloke to not speed through town by waiting and riding a push bike right in front of him around nine years ago. I don't think he's ever gone above the speed limit again. Dad had to keep the air compressor hoses in his car so I couldn't connect the nail gun to the air compressor. 
You do the math while thinking about how low birds fly. This dude was really trying to use an uh, air an air compressor to connect to a nail gun to shoot birds out of the sky? I mean, I want to say this is like absurd, but you give a kid a gun, you know what I mean? He's going to test the capacity of that gun, and, and that's the terrible and sad truth about it. That is the, the sad truth about it. RCE Transportation says, Kyle, come drive trucks with me. How much are you paying? I've thought about getting that license, you know, the, the truck license and just driving cross country. But I'm already in like sloppy jalopy shape. So I've always considered maybe I should get in better shape and then go do something like that. Plus, I wonder if I were going to do something like that, if I'd want like whoever I'm with to come with me. You know what I mean? And then be in the cab if that's possible. Um, I don't know. From I knew one girl. Oh God, yeah, just one, one in the series of women who talked to me on Snapchat for like a month before going crazy. And this girl said that she drove trucks, and she would tell me about how she was essentially on drugs, and how how it was necessary for her to get from point A to point B. Can you tell me, RCE? If you consider your job manageable in 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 a in a typical in a typical amount without you needing to use these drugs or, you know, just like shit to stay awake. Do you think it's doable? Tell me the truth. He says five thousand dollars a month. I mean, it's, it's dope and everything, but, you know, oh, Lord. Where are you set up? Because my whole plan is to end up somewhere where the weed is legal. Have a dog and just shut ourselves away from the world. Come out for walks and let that be the end of it. And let that be the end of it. These are becoming very strange times, man. And I'm super, you know, I'm super interested in what's going on with the government trying to take guns away from people. That sounds hilarious. Like, are y'all for real? And I want to see where some of this stuff goes. Stream crazy times. It may seem like a... I want to know how you guys are when it pertains to guns. Are you guys of the mindset that no one should have guns? Or do you feel like, you know, everybody should have guns within reason to protect themselves? So if you think people should own firearms within reason, press 1. And if you would, if you believe nobody should own weapons, you know, of course, outside of maybe law enforcement, shit like that, no civilians should own weapons, then press two. I'm really interested in your input here because I think it is absolutely, I believe that it is a human right to defend yourself with a firearm. You know, maybe you shouldn't have a, a straight gallery of automatic weapons and arsenal or a bunker full you know but shit it's constitutional we should be able to protect ourselves and i think the right to bear arms is is a hell of a lot of i don't know it it, it does a hell of a lot more for the preservation of what america should be then people are are making apparent my dude like I think a lot of people would just, you know, decide what the hell is and what the hell isn't based on the fact that if they came and got our guns today is what I'm saying, they would change some laws tomorrow because we'd be helpless to do anything about it. And I think you must believe the same too. If they came to get our guns today, they would change some laws tomorrow and there wouldn't be a damn thing we could do about it. Helsing says, I think it should be like that in the UK, where only those that have served our country can have a gun. Cheeky says, Kyle, I'm of the mindset that if you aren't mentally ill, you should be able to own uh, a tank if you want to. I mean, it sounds kind of excessive, you know, a tank specifically, but what are you going to do? Test you every 10 minutes to see if you're uh, see if you're still sane. 
Lake says, I live in a town where the meth heads roam the streets and I'm not giving up my gun. St I mean, straight to fuck up. Everybody has the right to defend themselves. Dave says, I say one because I think Texas has a low crime rate and everyone has guns there. Boy, you live in the wrong Texas. You know that in Texas, there are almost as many people um, in jail there as there are living there. So I guess, I guess you're you're very confused. There's there's so much crime going on out there. I think when people think crime, or let me say not people, I think when you think crime, maybe you're thinking of like very violent, bang bang, a lot of people dead crime. When in reality, there's breaking and entering all the time. People being caught with nothing, and that's enough for them to get that possession charge slapped on them. You know, a little bit of a tussle breaks out at a bar, even though people should be able to fight as long as there ain't no crazy injury and to have that be the end of it, you know? Dave says, I didn't know that I'm not in the States. Boy, I don't know what you're reading, boy. Texas is not a joke. Texas has almost as many people in jail there, incarcerated, as there are people just living there free. And it's pretty pathetic, but that's the way that it goes. Texas is the most American, uh, you know, state in, in this country. It is the most gun totenest, you know, cousin bangingest. Well, no, no, nobody can touch Alabama. But, you know, hey, there's just a lot of uh, the American worry, a lot of the South represented in Texas. And I have met some of the most crazy skinhead madmen, you know. It ain't meth yet, but I feel like meth is, is making its rounds across this this beautiful country. We're almost done with this list here on number five. And someone's talking about Mike Tyson. 1991, after seeing Mike Tyson get arrested on the news, I asked my dad what rape was. He told me that it meant hurting a girl. So, you can picture seven to eight year old me running to the teacher and saying stuff like, Teacher, Jack, John, and George are right with Molly on the playground. Whoa. Or threatening my classmates with rape if they were annoying me. Boys included. Because I thought that it just meant hurting them. Don't make me rape ya. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rape you in the mouth. You see the problem? You gotta be specific with these kids. You can't just tell them whatever. I wanna make an army of shirtless men in Fortnite. I think I only have like two skins of that, but I don't need more. Other people need to have them. And then we can ride together, shirtless men. And I know what you may be thinking. Maybe that sounds a little fruity. Hey, you know? I don't have a problem with shirtless men, digital shirtless men, okay? What's wrong with that? Mighty Quinn says you should be able to defend yourself. It amazes me when the Popo announced that they found guns during an arrest. So the guy was practicing the second amendment. What's wrong with that? You know? It's even crazier when they try to move the guns to make it look like, oh, he was, he, look how violent he is. You see this guy was doing this thing. Mm. Look at his character. Helsing says, do you think a person who is blind or visibly, Im visibly impaired can own a firearm if they are trained properly with said firearm? It's a very, that's a very specific and wild question that I do not feel equipped to touch. This person is legally blind, but then again, I don't know. I don't know, girl. I, I don't, mm, that's, a, that's such a gray area. That's a very wild and that's a that's a noggin scratcher right there. I don't know what to tell you. Or Ariana says blind people are, are better at closer income. Look, I'm not touching it. I don't know what to say when it pertains to that. Cheeky says, I think our Second Amendment extends to all types of firearms. So you want a light machine gun? You can get one. Look at Switzerland. That's how gun laws are over there. Where was it where they were passing in all their guns recently? Was it New Zealand? Mighty Quinn says, I use Venmo for the first time. Don't know if it worked. I'm old. Holy crap. Let me check her. 
Oh, ten dollars. Thank you. I appreciate you, Mighty Quinn. You're a bad. You're you're an amazing gentleman, and I appreciate you on levels that I can't even make clear. I really wish that I could incorporate the Venmo into the notifications, but it doesn't seem that I can. And what I need to do is just have the phone up on deck. He says, "Happy Xmas. Be awesome more." I'm trying. <laughs> Yeah, you guys really need to just let me know what you're interested in. Jorge, you are making, you know, you're making things uh, manageable. And I can't even let you know how much I appreciate you. And thank you, Mighty Quinn. Thank you, Seraphin. Who was it earlier? Mermaid Queen. Who is Ariel? I'm sorry that I've taken that up. Oh, Ariel's not your real name? You're just a, a mermaid enthusiast? I just realized uh, Ariel is the titular character from the Little Mermaid franchise. Seraphim Bear says the New Zealand yes, so you know stuff from all guns. Interesting. Number four, on the list of effed up things that kids did. I don't know about that thumbnail anymore. It's okay. It's a pretty good one. When I was five years old, I had hair down to my butt. I was tired of my mom brushing it, so I cut it all off and peed on it in a bucket. Was the... was this part necessary? Was this part necessary? Bluehand49, who I have not seen made a comment before, or make a comment before, has chimed in to say that Ariel is the worst princess my guy. So, what a what a blatant and and serious opinion that he needed to make sure he voiced. I'm going to go ahead and type in all Disney princesses and we're going to take a look. Because I believe if we had to choose one that was the worst, I don't think a lot of people would agree that it's Ariel. Isn't Pocahontas technically a Disney princess? And wouldn't she fall into a gray area for most of us? Hmm. How do you guys feel about Rapunzel? You know, how do you guys feel about Rapunzel? We can't turn all of these lists into this kind of list. Because I feel like the what I'm going to say to you is this. I am not here to defend any specific princess. But I will say that if you believe that Ariel sucks, I'm pretty sure that we can find things that suck about all the other princesses that have her on the, comparatively the same level. You know? And how do you judge a princess? Whether the shoe fits, unironically, as far as how well she is adapting to the life of a princess? Do you judge her based on how much she's willing to fight or, you know, can pull her own weight and pull herself up by her bootstraps and show that she's just as capable? What do you, what do you judge her by, my dude? I, I'm not sure we even want to get into this. Maybe that's a discussion for another time. What a list. I don't know why it just it just felt I just the fact that he was like Ariel's the worst and I'd never seen his comment before it made me feel like you have some serious opinions on Ariel like if I just gave you the microphone you could make a freaking uh video you could make like a, a, a essay about why Ariel sucks there's a link to the discord in the um description below my man if you want to write an essay and I'll just read it from your perspective, we can take all of them hate clicks on the internet. You know what I'm talking about? All of them hate. Can you imagine? It doesn't matter who we pick as a princess to say is the worst. We would immediately have people in here defending them or digging a hole for the other princesses to say that they're even worse. She went up and saw a dude and said, I want that dick and left her family because penis. Well, what are you talking about? The grim iteration or, you know just are you just saying like it's kind of like slang saying oh i want a man forget the rest of my life none of this matters because aren't they all a little one-dimensional like that well not all of them but most of them 
I don't know, man. I really like the Little Mermaid. Of all the terrible Disney incarnations of, of Tales, I like the Little Mermaid. I like it. Jeff says, Merry Christmas, Kyle and Dia. I hope you have a wonderful, restful day. I wish you the same. You're, you're great. Thank you for the wish. X, a little, a little XND says, Kyle, word on the street is you swallow golf balls. Boy, I choke on my own saliva sometimes. I'd never be able to make a golf ball happen. Who the hell said, who, who told you that? A skinny little Mexican chick? Ugh. Plague says, I'd say the worst is Merida. Who is that? That is a place in Mexico. Oh, is this the brave girl? I thought she probably had a lot to prove in her punk ass movie, so she sucks. I wouldn't know, guys. I don't watch Disney movies. Ariana says Rapunzel used to be my favorite as a child. I like that movie a lot. I'm just not sure if most people would accept her as one of the dope uh, princesses. And I don't want to turn. I don't want to turn this into that. Blue Hand says, "Say I won't do it." I mean, you won't do it. You won't write an essay about why Ariel sucks. You know. <laughs> Because I think if you were forced to, and here's what, you know, do things the Philip Mewson way. Go on the internet right now and ask, ask the YouTube, ask the Google, hey, who's the worst uh, Disney princess? And I'm sure they'll have it all sorted out for you. There are women right now, well into their 50s, with nothing better to do than to just scrutinize these Disney movies and tear apart the character of many of these women. So somebody's done it before you, just, just go borrow that opinion. <laughs> <laughs> or at least the bullet notes of why they suck and come back to me Seraphin says it's worse than the originals the prince marries somebody else Ooh. and Plague says everything that happened in Brave was her fault wow see I don't know these things I don't watch these movies y'all should let me y'all should have me watch a movie that utterly frustrated you guys you know Jorge, if you wanted me to watch something and record my, um, my like, what do I call it? My commentary during, I would do that. And if you don't even know what it is, you can have somebody else choose it. And I'll just record my commentary of something and, and all of the frustration that comes with it. I'd, I'd pause it and just tell you how I felt about it. You, you name it. And I'd do it pretty crazy man <laughs> sorry going up this list here we are here we are number three i was absolutely terrified to the first man my mom dated after she and my father split i once told the man in the middle of the dinner that i hated him and hoped that he died in a car wreck on the way home calm down there wings of redemption she calmly with a straight face no, I said it calmly with and with a straight face. The man did nothing. He was always kind to me. And I still feel terrible about it 20 years later. <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, I got to take Dia to get a haircut. She's got so much hair. <laughs> okay, number two. <clears throat> I used to oh, god damn it dude I used to pee on my brother's bed in the morning so I would get first crack at video games or TV while he helped clean up his mess oh my god kids dude someone said this is some real super villain type stuff like super villain origin story shit and the guy goes yes he became the golden showerer Ugh. ladies and gentlemen like this is terrifying <laughs> I want you guys to tell me all about what you ate today. You can use the Discord. 
or or you can take pictures and post it in the discord or you can send me the pictures on snapchat c-y-a-e-l it better be good though man because i'm looking for like i guess that ethnic stuff and what is ethnic to kyle anything that's not like typical like rice and beans and chicken or something you know what are you what are you from what are you from like the most indian place or are you korean as hell i don't think you know what i, I can i guess can i say this i don't think i have any asian subscribers and i wonder what i need to do to appeal you know i, I don't know what i need to do <laughs> not that that's going to be like the channel's pivot and and i want to say purpose or anything but come on so i apologize <laughs> here we are the number one entry on the list of effed up things that kids did mm. oh my god i pooped my pants when i was five years old it didn't want i didn't want to tell anyone so i dropped it in the heater duct in my room The house got sold and we moved away not long after, but it was unrelated. A nice surprise to the new owners. Someone responds, my old man had a house where one room above the garage always had a weird sticky smell during the winter. One day he had to dismantle the duct work in the garage to get at something that was in the ceiling there was one point in the duct where it yewed around a beam when he took the he took down the duct he got a whiff of the source of the smell apparently the former owner's hamster had escaped into the duct and got trapped in the yew when the heat came on, it was blowing the smell of decaying hamster into the bedroom above. It wasn't just the smell, dude. It was the decomposing freaking remnants of this deteriorating fucking carcass that you were breathing into your body. My God, you could have been you could have gotten sick and Jesus Christ, man. Breathing in the dead flakes and portions of of a rotting you know Merry Christmas <laughs> I'm so sorry Merry Christmas jeez yeah yeah the Fortnite map is covered in snow whatever Ugh. thank you all for being here I hope you guys are having a laid back chill badass perky you know as many veins as you're into christmas fastest exorcism oh man but it's not safe for work <sighs> wash pit is lit what the hell <laughs>